ladies and gentlemen, holy fucking shit. Now, I don't get up early for anybody. As I've told everybody on my post already, I don't get up before 10 unless I'm paid to do it. But I promised myself that PlayStation, because it's probably my preferred console, I play it the most, um, that I would be there for this event and I would try and watch it. 6 a.m. this morning. I got up and watched it and boy was I not disappointed at all. That was an absolutely fucking fantastic event. It was short, it was precise and it was sweet. It did everything it needed to do and there were some massive, massive announcements which we were all prepared to see but at the same time kind of didn't expect it. So I'm just going to run through my top five and then have a couple of little mentions at the end that, um, that you guys should probably check out as well. Alrighty, coming in at number five. Five was a bit of a tie for me, just because there was a lot of good trailers, but there was only four great ones. So when it comes to five, I had to put two things. So the first one that I went with was Deathloop. Now, I like the idea of Deathloop because it was kind of like a Dishonored game, but it's got a spin on it that every time you die, you start again. Not only that, there's a hunter that's after you the whole time. You're trying to leave an island uh, where everyone's trying to kill you, and there's eight targets for you to go through. So it seems like a bit of a challenge, a bit of fun, and I'm really keen to see how hard it is to kill this other hitman that's constantly chasing after you. It looks like a very interesting spin, and I cannot wait to see that one. Uh, tied at number five, I had Destruction All-Stars. Now, the first 20 seconds of this trailer was just a bunch of people in a kind of uh, Mad Maxi kind of Rocket League style area where all they were doing was driving cars into each other. It was Destruction Derby, there was explosions, there was... Big bop boom, it, it looked exciting. But then people started to fly out of their cars. People would actually leave the cars and they would jump over them doing skate-like tricks. They would tighten fall, run up the walls and jump over shit. I don't know if you can get weapons, but it just looked interesting. Like, I'm trying to figure out where exactly the competitiveness lies in that. How fun is it going to be? How long before I'm sick of something like that? Color me intrigued. I want to play uh, Destruction All-Stars as well. Number four was the very, very first thing that PlayStation decided to show off in their uh, bunch of trailers today, and that was the advertisement for the new Spider-Man game. This time using Miles instead as the main character, which obviously, if you've seen the movie, he's got a few little different powers compared to the original Spider-Man, and very, very interesting to chuck him in, but he was hinted in in the, uh, in the last game anyway, so that trailer was very short and sweet, not really any gameplay, I guess, but... It looked very cinematically cool, and if everybody's played the first one, you know that you're in for a treat with that one. Coming in at number three, and dear lord, I squealed like a schoolgirl when they uh, started showing off some of the bosses in this. It was Demon Souls Remastered. Yeah, you heard me correctly. My favourite one in the series because it was the first one I played. Demon Souls was an absolutely fantastic game from start to finish. Um, incredibly hard, incredibly fun, and some of the bosses were just so memorizing at the time, so stupidly hard, it was great. They showcased quite a few of those in the cinematic trailer and then just showed us the headline, which was all they needed to do to get me fucking moist for that. Number two was probably the second, I'm pretty sure it was the second thing that was showed in it, which was the new Ratchet and Clank. I just finished the original one on PlayStation 4 and Platinum that, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you check it on my page as well. But Ratchet and Clank has always been a fan favourite for just about everybody, that Jack and Daxter and all those kinds of platformy style games. Ratchet and Clank is an absolute classic. And the way that they've structured this new one, going through dimensions, uh, way more abilities. They even showed off quite a bit of the gameplay as well, where all of the combat looks exactly the same as the other ones, which is absolutely fantastic. And it was probably the longest trailer by far, showing quite a lot of the gameplay. So that was absolutely fantastic, so make sure you check that on the video linked below if you want to do that. Coming in at number one, and we all wanted this, but no one expected it, Horizon Zero Dawn 2, A Western Land. Now, this was absolutely fantastic because for 30 seconds of the goddamn trailer, I couldn't figure out that it was Horizon Zero Dawn. I told myself in the back of my head, I'm like, dig, just, I want one robot to show up and just one of them so I can pick it out. But then eventually you see Aloy riding the horse. Uh, she starts talking over top of it. And you're just like, this is it. This is everything I've been waiting for. This better be the last trailer because that's all we need. And it was. It was the last trailer. There was a whole heap of cinematic to do with it. A little bit touched on the bad guys. There were some new uh, monsters that you could see in it as well. Some new robotic monsters which look pretty fucking cool. 
Uh, the new story, there is just going to be so much with that game, and we know what we're in for with that. And the last one obviously being such uh, just a time play, a PlayStation classic. I can't even say it, I'm that excited. But yes, that is number one. Alrighty, now the PS5 event was absolutely massive. There, it only went for just over an hour in length, but it showcased a lot of stuff to do with the console and a lot of games in between that time. I loved how short and sweet the actual event was. So we got to show off the hardware a little bit, which we found out can lie down and also has digital and non-digital copies, which looks really cool. There was also several cinematics in between, which showcased what the controller could do as well. So that looks very interesting. Uh, make sure you check all that out because I can't remember all of the details exactly. But I've got some mentions here on my long list of uh, everything that happened in there. So there was the Gran Turismo game, which obviously a lot of people are going to like that. Stray, a cat game, which I still can't really understand what it's actually about, but I'm very, very intrigued. Returnal, a Death Stranding style shooter game. Looks uh, interesting as well. Um, plus the main character, as a choice to do a middle-aged woman, it's very rare to see that, so I'm very intrigued. I like the way that the game is going to go. There's also the new Odd World. Who wasn't excited for a new Odd World? It looks just like the originals as well. Lots of 2D kind of uh, scenes in there. Lots of Abe uh, carrying around heaps of people with him that just get destroyed by absolutely everything. Fantastic. That's what we all. That's what we're in it for. Ghostwire Tokyo looks intriguing. Kind of like a thriller horror slash action game. Very interested to see that. Resident Evil made a, a guest appearance in there as well. I couldn't actually tell that it was a Resident Evil game for a little while there, but. Later on you figured that out, and uh, Chris made a guest appearance at the end of that trailer as well. A couple of good retro games that are out there as well, like Solar Ash. Um, that looks very interesting, just like a platformer where you kind of look like you're on rollerblades the whole time. Hitman 3 made an appearance in there as well. All the Hitman games are fantastic, and definitely one of my favourites, Hitman Blood Money, is in my top five of all time. Uh, Little Devil Inside looks very interesting as well. A very arcade style uh, almost looks like a Dark Souls type game, but for some strange reason there was like an old man that kept appearing in it and he seemed to have nothing to do with it and I'm very interested to see how that ties together, almost like two timelines in it. So that's going to be very interesting. NBA 2K21 was hinted on there as well. Um, everything else, uh, one of the last ones as well was Pragmata, which just kind of looks like the dude from Dead Space, but he's got a little girl and something's going on in the world and you got to go fix it. Maybe it's Dead Space Pragmata. I don't know. But I'm intrigued anyway. There was no gameplay of that, but the cinematic looked really cool. So that tops off my list and everything that was probably of notable mention in there. That is not everything. There's probably about five or six games in there that I didn't mention. So please make sure that you check out that uh, hour's worth of content if you want to, because it is just absolutely fantastic and worth the time. PlayStation 5 is going to be available very, very soon. I'm very excited. I can't say any more. I'm done and dusted. I'm going to leave you to it. So I got up early for you guys. I'm going to go back to bed now for two hours. And um, I don't think I can sleep though. Not after that. But thank you very much for listening, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. If you want to hear anything else about the games, let me know. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys soon.